and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Gruel Arcbow. Uh, we are here for part two of our uh, series today where I'm just taking two decks and playing them uh, throughout more games here in Mythic than what I usually do. Usually I take four decks a day and play them for like five matches each. Today I'm taking two decks and playing them in ten matches. With the team or Hydra, as you see there, it says six and six because we were five and five after our ten, so I played one extra one to try to break the tie and actually lost it. So we were five and six. And then I started recording this video and talking about Gruel Arcbow and everything and went to play the first match and I accidentally queued up with the deck we just played and we won that. So we're six and six now, I guess, with Teamer. But we have to start this video back over and we'll see if I actually play the correct deck this time. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this deck, of course, is just playing very big creatures. Um, you know, trying to do it each and every turn with the help of Vivian's Arcbow. You know, whenever you have six mana, doesn't matter what you, your draw step is, because you can just discard whatever your draw step is, even if it's another land or a mana creature or anything. Discard it, go look at your top, you know, like six cards and, and put in one of these big creatures and attack with them. The deck's pretty self-explanatory. Not too much fancy going on here. You know, we, we got our big creatures. We have our, our uh, mana accelerants. We have some smaller creatures to, to fill out the curve with Thorn Lieutenant, Spellbreakers, and Phoenixes. Um, and then this Domery can be a little bit of card advantage or give our creatures haste. And this one can make our creatures a little bigger and fight. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Here we go. Let's give it a try. So we're going to play 10 matches here with Gruul Arcbow. There we go. The right deck. And let's get started. Ooh, it's 108 in Paris? I guess you're saying next Thursday? On Thursday? Man, I didn't realize it. the Paris got so warm. Okay, looks like we have the right deck this time. Hey, Bishopman. Missing a couple cards, but love the deck. That's awesome. So yeah, even still works great, even with a couple of changes. It's good. That's good. Yeah, these these big creatures. You know, like if you don't quite have the exact big creatures that I have in here, you can just kind of play some different big creatures. I know my responsibility. Don't worry, I got this. Hmm. You think I'm a crazy piece? <laughs> Have at it, boys. So we're drawing the Thorn Lieutenant. We're going to go ahead and double spell. I've got time. On this day two years ago, I was I was in Paris on vacation with my wife. Today I'm stuck at work for 12 hours on day four of 17 in a row. Oh. Man, two years ago sounds a lot better. <laughs> that's something that's pretty common, though. Uh, we tend to romanticize the past. But in that specific scenario, it's only a that does sound better. Is my bread and butter. I want to keep getting onto the battlefield. Make it tough for like a Teferi to do something. I'm known for my excellent time. Trust me, I have a plan.
Fight. <laughs> That's the sound of a stampede coming straight at ya. So we're still at like the same spot we just were. We got rid of the hero precinct Nothing. one that they played. This Paradise Druid may be just a card that we save and like if we draw an arc bow, we can arc bow it away kind of thing. Well, sorry, opponent, you're not going to like my hand. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good one. That I recognize is chaos. The worm. Yeah, getting ravaged. All right, so con Esper control. Let's try a bunch of war bosses and Carnage Tyrants and cut Ronus and. One of those Domries and Thorn Lieutenant? No, Thorn Lieutenant's good. One Ravager Worm. We have the Carnage Tyrants instead. Maybe it is this Domri. Yeah. Now uh, I'll make maybe I'll just trim a couple paradise druids. I'll keep one of those domries in and cut one one paradise druid. We had to switch avatars to, over to a Johnny. Now we're winning. That's what we need. We need a Johnny. Yeah, Vras's Contempt. Yeah, we haven't seen Vras's Contempt as much these days. I guess like with a lot of like three mana planeswalkers, you know, exiling a three mana planeswalker for four mana isn't as valuable. And they're just. They just keep printing like pretty good answers at two mana also. So you know you can just kinda play two mana cards and make up for it somehow. I know eighty I have no, just I, the trick for this. I have yeah, so I haven't played the I haven't played the 5-5 five, five Haste Dino or Burning Sun's Avatar in this. I just think that those cards are just worse than the other soul. options that we have available I for this see. specific deck. I like the 5-5 five, five Haste Dino in other Gruul decks, but this specific deck, since we're activating Arcbow on, on opponent's end step all the time, just getting a Haste creature isn't as valuable. War boss, war boss, war boss, war boss. I guess I'll do. That didn't go according to plan. Guess that'll do. Banding Dragon's pretty good. I like that card. Um, but again, it's just like, like the thing is, is like. All these cards, are, like those cards, are powerful, but are they better than the cards that I'm playing? I don't, I don't think so. Like, what? I 
Our opponent had to have been watching the stream, I guess. Because they, they didn't know anything about our hand. I just conceded. They must have been watching the stream. Or, yeah, or honestly something, yeah, no, that, that's definitely true. Like, they could just, they could have just had nothing. They knew I was drawing the Phoenix, and honestly something could have uh, came up. Like, you know, like a, a knock on the door kind of thing, or, yeah, they, they wanted to go use the restroom, like you're saying, or just something. Um, yeah, something comes up, and they're just, they're down a game, didn't have anything in hand, and just didn't value the rest of the game. Like, that's certainly possible. You got Decenius? Yeah, this is Wolf Mother. No, I don't think Demanding Dragon's better than Null Hide. Four versus five mana is a, is a really big thing. So keep them permanents off the battlefield on their side. Make it harder to ascend. Make it harder to cast Venerate Luxodons and stuff. And yeah, if I would not have blocked, that creature would have been a 3-2 this next turn. You know, imagine if we had Demanding Dragon instead of Null Hide, how we would have just had to, like, not do anything here. It's a... Big difference, four and five mana. Luxodon. Ugh. Ah, it's a beautiful day for chaos. Isn't it? Ooh, revel in devastation. Ooh, okay. They're taking out Domery, but I, I will trade Domery here for a, a Snubhorn Sentry. Because that, that just makes it farther for them to ascend. You know, it takes another permanent away from them. Yeah, it doesn't always work out how you want. Okay, so it's my stream. All right, well, if I play this Null Hide, I just won't be able to play the Arc Bow. Yeah, I, I guess I have to play Arc Bow here. I don't, I don't think I can realistically play this Null Hide and then... I mean, we're looking good right now, yes, but Mono White has some really explosive stuff. We're... We're certainly not... For ahead, we're not that far ahead. I mean, we're all we have is, like, the, the battlefield stabilized. That's, that's really it. 
Well, not anymore. Monolite has the ability to draw pretty well. I keep this mount in hand because we could draw another arc bow. That's why I was keeping it in hand. Draw on the Domri though, I'm gonna play it. That's a great one. All right, well, they chose the fight. They chose the 4-4. Four -four. Now I'm certainly feeling better about it. Getting that 5-5 five -five out of there. All right, not feeling so good about it now. <laughs> That was quick. Alright, so this will just eat the bodyguard. Oh, I look forward to seeing you running away. Whoa, they didn't sack the bodyguard. My wild beasts will bring your comeuppance. You think I'm a crazy beast? Please yeah, this was a seesaw of emotions, this game. That's true. Yeah, opponent gave up. Yep. Well, they're still ripping histories. Not over yet. <laughs> A little pick me up before the real fun begins. Let's make this thing a three four. Or a four four, I guess, because of that. I bow to no one. Yeah, if our opponent protected Marshall, yeah. I mean, I guess, like, we would have killed the Marshall, I guess, this turn. But. All right. Big creatures. Get it done. Big old creatures. Hmm. So let's play some coils over lieutenants and shocks instead of Maybe I'm going to trim two arc bows. We kind of have to curve out with this. 
So I know I could play Bronte to be able to blow up enchantment removal. I'm not going to. I don't think that's really the game I want to play. You know, they could, like, tribunal my Ravager Worm, and then I blow it up and get my Ravager Worm back, but I don't really want to take anything out for him. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing ten matches each with two different decks instead of doing the five matches each with four decks today. So we're just starting our second deck. Um, long story about the other ones, but yeah, we... I excellent played a couple extra matches there. Hey, what's up, Yud? Does not seem like their hand was very good. No accord, no peace. Oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you. They probably have baffling ends, and so my paradise druid's probably gone. Hand's working quite well though. We're basically just holding this arc bow for later. Um yeah, we won't answer to other guilds. I guess I play this because it gives my creatures Vigilance. Then attack for 14, trample Vigilance, put the Null Hide in. Ilharg, the God of Scoops. And then, yeah, I guess Ronus. Two gods is two scoops. Ilhark's so awesome. Such a cool card. And I think Ilhark's positioned pretty well um, right now. I don't know. Been doing well with Ilhark recently. Yeah, I'm liking these these green red decks, the teamer deck that we just played, this gruel deck. For our last You know, what do we have now? Like last ten days. There's ten days left of War of the Spark Standard before Corset 2020 is out. Perfect. We need one more land. One more land, please. This is our third person playing a Naya aggro deck. Like a Naya Domri's ambush aggro deck. This is the third person today that we've seen playing this. Playing a deck like this. They've all been a little different. This is the first one that we've seen 10th District Legionnaire, for example.
I should have just done haste last turn. Blocking was going to be pretty tough anyway. I should have just done haste last turn. They have to have the the white instant to give their creature indestructible. That that'd be the only reason not to play this instant last turn and get two more points of damage in. So yeah, they, they have to have the white instant that gives their creature indestructible. Or Or not. Who knows? All right, this one's looking lost. We'll see if the opponent has lethal here. I need these coils. They have a hand like that. It's going to be kind of tough for us. We don't have a ton of removal. Thorn Lieutenant's just too small. You know, we're, we got Coil, Domri, Ravager, Worm. Shock would kill that 2-2, like, immediately, but isn't reliable. No, Stream Decker is working. And Deckmaster, if you're talking like Deckmaster for here on the streams working, just uh, refresh your stream. If it's not working on your channel, try try that and see if that works. Worked. There you go. Perfect. All right. Third land. Third land. Third land. No. Third land. Third land. Yay. So if we draw fourth land, we can either Phoenix plus Coil or we could Ravage a Worm. Yeah. All right, I guess I should have just coiled that thing. I guess they can't really cast Reckless Rage again because that would kill their Arcanist. I've been knocked about. <laughs> A little pick me up before the real fun begins. All right, so we're gonna go haste, one one counter, chomp. Boom. Man, Ravager Worm is so good. And that animation, too. Ah, so good. Let's 
So good. All right, Domri down. Oh, you haven't seen the last of me. Put him to six. So they just play one creature. Like, the reason why I like doing this, even though, you know, maybe they'll have a better target to coil next turn. But if they just play one creature here... Like, they have to block Ravager Worm, because if they block Phoenix with Feather, then they take six and die. So they'd have to block Ravager Worm. Well, I guess they could... I guess Reckless Rage is, like, what they're looking at. No, I won't be playing the Chapter 5 event on... Uh, stream I did one of the events on stream I don't remember which one like an early one and didn't didn't go over too well from like a viewership um, number wise hey Zbosh Thanks. Because, like, those events are basically, you know, like a, a one week thing. And then you don't need to play it. And then you won't be playing that format ever again. So it doesn't have a lot of. A lot of people caring too much about it. I have I don't have any specific deck for ch for Chapter Five J Rock, but uh, there's been a lot of people in the Discord channel yesterday and today that have been uh, finishing up the the event in like an hour uh, with different decks and everything. They've been posting them. But yeah, check out. So if, yeah, if you need any decks for the event, check out the Discord channel for some decks there. Yep, no explore package in there. I was honestly prob like I was definitely considering just having Domery have the land where I'll fight here. I think that's like that's what I was gonna do if we didn't draw the coil, but you know, we drew the coil, so we could just get to um So we get to to play that and then null hide this turn where I can fight the next turn with the Ferox. You made a quasi dupla ooze deck for the event? Nice. Okay, well I guess I don't actually get to Domri fight now. I needed that fifth mana. So I guess I'm just not going to play Domri. Because I'm just going to play the other Null Hide and, and Bash. And then we're forever away from another <laughs> from Domri now.
So I need one null hide to die before I can afford to play the other, to play the Domri, right? Because, like, this costs seven mana with two null hides in play. So if I if I do play Domery and then fight, they get to Reckless Rage and kill my Ferox. So basically, basically I can have Null Hide and Feather trade by doing that. That's probably not ideal. That's probably not an ideal trade for me. Oh, I look forward to seeing you. So yeah, ticking up. Yeah, going going something a little different today. I'm just doing two decks of I'm playing ten matches with both decks instead of five matches with four different decks. We're having a little bit more focused event here. All right, so they kill Domery, they get a chump block, and then they have another chump blocker. It's fine. You know, we're just one land away from eating them up. Chomp, 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 chomp. Oh, that's worse for me. No, I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. All right, now they're chumping with Feather. It's not Chomp, it's Chump now. Yeah, what's the deal with that? How, how can you kill Domri with Domri's Ambush, right? What's the deal with that? So they do have to target a creature or a planeswalker you don't control. They can't just target their another creature or planeswalker they control. So one and this this has to have something else to target also, right? Yeah, don't control. So I don't I don't let down the shield of Null Hide. Yeah, they can they can pay two and trade. Would have been the same way if I play if I pay two and lava coil, they just they just play the Domri's ambush and the reckless rage, uh, both because you know then they have the three mana they don't have to pay the extra two so then and they still kill my null hide, so. So 
So I would have just lost the coil. I, I mean, I would have traded coil for ambush, I guess. Oh, right. Ambush is sorcery. And it was my turn. Hmm. All right. Maybe I wouldn't have traded for ambush. I guess they could have had another removal thing, though. Possibly. I considered, um, yeah. Uh, nah, never mind. All right, so 3-0. Um, I haven't done a reset. No, maybe I shouldn't. No, I, I guess I, I mean, it is kind of laggy a little bit. Um, it's a little jumpy because I haven't done a reset and, you know, it's been like five hours. But I guess I shouldn't because we're 3-0, so. Yeah, we could have done the stylish play. Yeah, the worm eating the arcanist. Yeah, we could have just played the worm and hasted that. Dang. Hooray, magic. Cool, Mumani. Yeah, this this deck's sweet. These hands, though, have been pretty grueling. No jade light, please. Please, no jade light. Yeah, pun's always intended. <laughs> Gross. Well, certainly got punished for putting this Domri at the bottom. That Domri would be nice right now to be able to kill the Wild Growth Walker, even with it being a 3-5 because of the added power. I think if I play the Domri, it's probably going to die. Like, they probably have, like, another Jade Light or something, because Explorer decks always do. Oh, Anissa. Hooray. Protect that which cannot protect itself. I'm just activating Arcbow here. I'm going to discard Thorn Lieutenant. Hold. Now we get to activate for five, so that's cool. Huh. So they just... Killed my Spellbreaker now. Didn't attack. Ilharg? Ugh. Come on, deck. Yeah, I should I should have reset arena. Everything's like taking a while to process. Why couldn't it have been six for Ravager Worm? Oh, 
controlled nature's true power all right I mean I'm just conceding to crisis here I'm not I'm not being in crisis with Nissa like this like there's like what am I so, like yeah I mean I can't be an 8 8 crisis Yeah, I don't. Yeah, trophying Arcbow probably would have made more sense than trophying the the four four. So Wild Growth Walker Crisis is the things like that that can get out of hand and be the real big problem for Gruul. So this is the the kind of matchup I don't want to face with Gruul. Problem with Lava Coil is it just doesn't, you know, like imagine we draw Lava Coil after they already have their 3 4 Wild Growth Walker and they play that 8 8. And it's just doing nothing. I guess it's better than Thorn Lieutenant, though. These mid range matchups. Thorn Lieutenant gets outclassed so fast. Trading with Merfolk Branch Walker. Not ideal. Hmm. And Walker is out of here for good. Contact draw land. Draw land. Draw land. Draw land. All right, so they held up cast down that would have stopped Ravager Worm, but we didn't draw a land anyway. Correct, Le Lexus Bros. Hey, Loku. Hi. Fight. All right, so yeah, I went with the the four four spellbreaker here instead of the three three for like basically exactly that reason. I wanted my opponents to, I wanted them to kill the uh, spellbreaker as opposed to a, a paradise druid in case we didn't draw a land. Really wanted to make sure we could cast the ravager worm the next time, so. If I would made it a 3-3 three, three and attacked with the 3-3 three, three last turn, like, I think they're just blocking with the Jade Light, right? And then they would have played Golgari Queen and killed my Paradise Druid. Now, you know, it turned out like that we did draw another land Paradise. to be able to play Ravager Worm, but the wouldn't have been able to really fight anything with it. Holds our future. So this only puts them down to two. So I'll just make it four and kill the Tamiyo. All stories must end. I know two we would have been in a good spot, but 
maybe they have like an explore creature and then they have the Tamiyo tick up to find wild growth walker or vice versa. And then, you know, like then we're in a lot of trouble. So I think it's worth the, the little bit there to kill the Tamiyo. So now like one blocker or like now, like a, just like a hydroid crisis keeps them alive. For example, or hydroid crisis wouldn't have kept them alive before. So it looks like they have trophy. So yeah, if I would not have killed Tamiyo, then just Krasis plus trophy would have been saving them. Keep this land in hand so if we draw Arc Bow, we get to discard it. Almost forgot we're playing Arc Bow. I'm not I'm not sure, Dragon. I like them both. Uh, so yeah, they're stabilizing. tracks of the wise. Where's an arc bow? Come on. All right, this one looks over. Well, looks like just how it's been like the last couple of days, like the decisions I make end up being wrong. Looks like for how this played out, attacking the Tamiyo. If I don't attack Tamiyo, put them down to two, I think we would have won this. That's frustrating. Hey, there's an arc bow. No, but like I was saying, like the removal spell, you know, if they uptick Tamiyo for removal, wouldn't it have worked? The only, the only out that they really had. Like, they had to have, like, three removal spells or, like, one blocker plus two removal spells, basically. They couldn't have just had one blocker, one removal, like what they had. So that was their out. They had to have three things. And, yeah, Tamiyo, I guess, you know, could have found could have found three things, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, they either need to find three things or they need to find Wild Growth Walker plus Explore Creatures. And I thought that was, like... That was the thing I was really scared of, of like letting him have Tamiyo as Wild Growth Walker plus explore things. The past is never forgotten. Wherever I go, I leave bodies in my way. All right, we need to find Ronus here. Unfortunately, we know one Ronus is at the bottom.
Yep, another crisis. They've done a very good job finding crises. They they replayed one crisis. They you know the the first crisis we killed, they got back with Tamio and replayed it. So this will be their fourth one to cast. This is not a winning line. We don't have a winning line. I don't think. Don't be surprised if we meet again. Three and one. And now we'll do the reset. That's just kind of how... That's just how the last, like, three days have been going for me. A lot of that. Games like that, like, where... You know, if I don't attack Tamio... We win... I attack the Tamio, we lose. I, th I thought it made sense to get the Tamio off the battlefield and have them at, be at four instead of two, but we just didn't draw anything to back it up and they had enough to stabilize and everything. <clears throat> it's possible, I don't know, is it possible that they had it? three spells in hand to help them stabilize or I guess it's possible the Tamiyo tick up would have found them. You know, they like name trophy and they like draw multiple trophies or something. I guess we don't know exactly how it would have played out if I don't attack Tamiyo, but Alright, we're still three and one. We have a good looking hand. Wait, opponent goes first? Lame. So they're on five cards. What deck's playing basic swamp these days? Esper or Grixis control. All right, now next turn I'll activate the arc bow for four. Yeah, Gruel's good. Yeah. Um, a lot of good threats. Check that. Blame this. Oh, I was wondering where those got to. There's a way to find more threats. Ravager Worm does destroy the the land part of Ascanta. They flip Ascanta. 
Ravager Worm's blowing that up. But our hand was pretty good here. I mean, I don't think our opponent's five card hand is just going to really be able to compete. Like this is a this was a good solid hand for us. All right, so it is Grixis. So that's good to know. So since we know it's Grixis, do I want to hold on to Ferox for Nicol Bolas? Hey, Fat Butters, six months later, still happy to support you. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And keeping the hype going. So I was I was still gonna riot the Ferox. But now that we drew Rekindling Phoenix, I'll just riot that thing. A little pick me up before the real fun begins. Because I was, yeah, so I was still going to do Ferox over the Ravager Worms. Um, because the Ravager Worms can have haste even if Domri dies. But, you know, just drawing Phoenix here, just might as well. So if they, if they try to stabilize with Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, they can't. I can't kill Ascanta right now. I can only kill Ascanta whenever it flips. Like, this destroys a land with an activated ability. So it doesn't destroy enchantments. All right, so war boss, tyrant, in Ronus, uh, this Domri, this Paradise Druid, and two Arc Bows out. Why am I taking the arc bows out? How many packs do you think it's going to take to get a good amount of play sets from Core 2020? I already got the pre-order curse, but I might need a few more at the start to keep up with the meta change. Um, yeah, you're going, need, you're going to need more than that if you, to have everything from Core Set 2020. Uh, to be fair, though, like honestly, the that's a that's a good place to start that pre-order. Honestly, because. There may not be, like, Core Set 2020 is an eighth set. So there may honestly not be that much, that much change in the metagame. Usually eight sets, you know, like, don't change things so much. Because, like, there's already, there's already, you know, seven sets in standard. So, like, just an eighth one isn't usually strong enough to, like, make things change a lot. Whenever there's only, like, five sets in standard and then you add a sixth, you know, like, that's a different number like percentage wise of a card pool I must train harder but you're gonna need a yeah to have everything I mean even more than a hundred packs like like, War of the Spark, I remember day one we opened up, I think, 135 packs. And I didn't I didn't have, like, a playset of everything or anything. Like, there are... There are... Um, so there's, like, 54 rares, usually. Like, there's over 50 rares. 
And if you think about 50 times 50 times 4, like a playset of all the rares, that'd be 200. So you'd need to open up 200 packs for like a playset of the rares. And like, of course, wild cards, you know, change that. And then mythics, 15 mythics times 4, that's 60 mythics. So basically, you need to open up a lot of packs. Cool. Yeah, glad yeah, glad to help. All right, time to chomp. Time to chomp. Ilharg, the god of scoops. And the Ilharg Ravager Worm combo. Getting on in there. Hey, Laris one. All right, four and one, halfway through our 10 match set here. We are four and one. Um, no, I'm not a big fan of Nexus decks. I'm really, it's really I'm not a fan of Wilderness Reclamation at all. Nexus, I don't really mind too much. You know, like Nexus on its own without Wilderness Reclamation. I'm fine with it. But Reclamation I don't didn't like. The special event is, I think, Ravnica only, I believe. I think so, just only cards from the last three sets. Yep, Reclamation gave us Little Teferi. Yeah, Little Teferi would not have been printed if it wasn't for Wilderness Reclamation. Mess, messing up standard. One mistake leads to another. Not exactly sure why our opponent isn't blocking there. Like what they're expecting from the 1-1 one, one to do... Like if they're expecting the 1-1 one, one to do more than just 6... To save more than 6 life. Like the phases of the moon. Like what... I think you will find my notes helpful. Style. 
You got it. There'll be nothing but dust when I'm done. Guess if I had to choose one, I would choose Gruel right now over Bant for the Arc Bodex. I've been having more success with Gruel recently. Just very consistent, you know, like the two colors just more consistent than the three colors and so on. If I don't kill Tamio, Tamio can just like get back the root snare for like a couple turns and, and everything and it just kind of gets out of hand. Yeah, nice blast zone. Can't be countered. Has haste. Eat up this blast zone. So we'll see if they have the fog. And how many how many turns they can have the fog and how they they can keep up with that land being chomped. When you know you're in a rough spot. Bouncing Ravager Worm in a deck that has so many lands with activated abilities. Yeah, this deck could just go, like, could go a bunch of Kioras instead of Arc Bows. Like, that, that is an option. I haven't really tried that with this deck. Yeah, it could be like three Kioras and one other big creature instead of four Arcbow. All right, let's bring in the boss. So we need to be fast. Arcbow is not a fast card. Not a fast card at all. Um, Phoenix isn't too fast. I mean, they're going to have, like, Biogenic Ooze. We have six removal spells for Biogenic Ooze, Domeries, and Ravager Worms. Yeah, three man. If you're looking for the for a deck list from a few days ago, a couple of things you can. Easiest way, I believe, is just heading over to the YouTube channel there and just go and you know click on the video tabs and just kind of scrolling through and and you know looking at the the thumbnails looking for mono mono white angels but you can also find it in the decks part on my stream decker page but you know if you go go to the youtube channel the the link to the decks are there in the videos but i think that's the easier way than looking through the stream decker page but whichever way you prefer Next turn, I'll play Brontodon and blow it up. See, Brontodon's very good against Mono Red. But if if this deck starts getting popular again like it is... This is the second time I've played against it today. In like the last like three weeks, I've played against it like, you know, zero times, basically. But now this is the second time today. We may need to switch over to Cinder Vines. This is, this is definitely a matchup we would much rather have Cinder Vines than Brontodon.
Uh, yeah, so made made top four today. So that makes sense. All right, well, I'm not, I can't really fight the Wilderness Reclamations. They just have infinite mana. I don't, I don't know if like one Bronson would do enough there. So they just have infinite mana and I just gotta hope that they run out of cards. Uh, I can't really have them having Chemistry's Insight. No, we're, we're just dead. Top four is Esper, Esper, Nexus, and Mono Red. That sounds about right. Wilderness Reclamation, Teferi, and Experimental Frenzy. We had three turns. I had three turns. I played a war boss. That was it. I had three turns. dead. <laughs> yeah, no, Wilderness Reclamation is not fun. No, that's that's why they printed Little Teferi to try to stop Wilderness Reclamation. It's kind of ridiculous. They sh should have just banned Wilderness Reclamation and not print Little Teferi. But, oh well. This is where we're at with life. Well, we got an, a very, very strong hand here. For turn one land war elf. Certainly the best thing that we can possibly have. Hey, Petite. Need a sideboard guide? Absolutely. Yep, that is something that I can do. I can make cyborg guides. So yeah, Petite, just send me a message on Discord. Send me your deck that you that you uh, um, that you have, and I'll I'll make cyborg guides for you. Um, and if you'd like, you can send me like all of the matchups that you want me to have. Otherwise, I'll just you know I'll do like the top ten matches, the top ten decks. Or so. Do we have a turn four kill? Turn four kill. All right, they had a turn four kill. We had a turn four kill. <laughs> um Yeah. Yeah, and the game's pretty hard, Senti. I wouldn't you're not going to be like competitive. You're not going to be like super competitive immediately. Like it's it's a very difficult game. Also, it takes a little while to learn. A lot of a lot of practice and everything but but there are there are some good decks that are pretty cheap
like people in chat are telling you and helping you out. Yes, here's. Um, I have all the codes written down here. If you're if you play arena and if you've missed any codes in the past, all of those codes work to get you something. So you know you can try them, see if you've used them before. Good old Thoughtseize bug. Whatever they take, you draw it. Gonna go ahead and play the Arcbow. So, like, if this is Esper... Okay, it's Grixis. Hmm. Grixis usually means, like, Bedevil and stuff like that to kill Arcbow. But just in case there was another discard spell, I just wanted to get that thing in play. Okay, yeah, they did have a devil. Arcbow is an artifact, not an enchantment. So yeah, Grixis has a lot of answers to artifacts. So I don't have two red mana for Ilharg. Attack. What's up, 619? Yager. Hey, everybody. And suddenly, we're stymied by a big old dragon. Now we got a pig. Yeah, I was doing two decks of ten matches today instead of like the normal four decks. I will remake the multiverse in my image. Another time, Planeswalker. Alright, Domri. 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 Alright, Arcbow's not bad. My schemes have been foiled. So whatever card we draw next turn will turn into an Ilharg. Stop. Stop killing all my arc bows. Yep, so they found a land. They're looking at what they want to get back. Chompers. Poor Chompers. My geniuses are matched. Soon, all will bow before me. Alright, we need war bosses and carnage tyrants. And just get rid of all the arc bows. I 
They just have such, they have just so much removal for it. So, let's see how this works. Taking out Ronus, because, you know, Ronus really needs you to have, like, other creatures, and if they're killing all my other creatures, then it doesn't help me out too much. No, I'm not bringing in Coil against Bolas. Because, like... While Coil is good against, Bo like, specifically Nicol Bolas the Ravager, it's bad against, like, the whole rest of their deck. So it's only good against, like, three or four cards in their deck. I still have removal in my deck. Like, I have I have Domri's and Ravager Worms. Plus, I just have bigger creatures than 4-4s. Four like, we have, we have a lot of things that are just fine against Nicol Bolas. We don't, we don't really need to have Coil. All right, we need to draw another land. Come on, deck, draw land. Land. There we go. I want to mind another land. We need a red source. We need a red land. Red land. Choose null hide. Look at this thing. It's a beast. It's a beast. Got to take it. Look at how scary that thing is, throwing its paws down. Take it. You raise your null hide one time. 20% chance. Dang, didn't work. I am going to go 4-4 four, four Spellbreaker this time. I think going 3-3 three, three was a mistake previously. Stupid duress. I have five spells in my whole deck, and they have duress. I have five in the 60. I have three of these Domries, two of the other Domries. That's it. Their answers are line their cards are lining up perfectly. Are you kidding me? Wow, yeah, things could not line up better for our opponent. Turn two erasure, turn three duress plus coil, turn four hostage taker. Yeah, this, this could not go any better for them. <sighs> I did like drawing the first land, and the second land was was fine too. But four lands. Drawing four lands and a land war elf in five draws, not so much. All right, looks like we're going to be five and two. I don't know, the dress worked though. Five lands and a land of world. 
on my six draws. Hooray. That's what we need to draw. I mean, we did need to draw one land. And the second land was good, too. I can't complain about, like, drawing a couple lands, because I did want those, but... Pretty jealous though. Pretty, pretty awesome. Hey, two land or elves in five lands. So Razor on two, Duress plus Coil on three, Hostage Taker your Phoenix on four, Cast the Phoenix on five, six Bolas plus Discovery, and then seven Flip Bolas. That is awesome. Yeah. And our seven draw steps were five lands and two land or elves. You imagine that opening seven? That's a bad one. Yes, ghost form would give you the four four bolus back, correct. Sacred Foundry Mountain Plains. This is Boros Feather, maybe? Oh, I look forward to see. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Well, our, we have a good five card hand for. You know, our opponent not doing anything so far. First few turns. Okay, there's a war boss. Wow. Well. Dead Domri. That's unfortunate. Expect me to tuck my tail between my legs. That's unfortunate. War boss hits hard, also. I mean, all they need to do is just add three power to the battlefield and we die. Like, they have nine unblocked right now. That Samet sprint, war boss sprint, was incredible.
Hmm. Alright, so it turns out that we need to do something before playing Ilharg on turn 5. Turns out that wasn't good enough. This is our second time to play Feather in this league. Play against Feather. Third time today, but second time with just Arc Gruel Arcbow here. I didn't bring in shocks last time. I just cut Thorn Lieutenants for Lava Coils. But th this deck has War Boss. Hmm. Oh well. I I could see a world where my opponent doesn't have War Boss in their deck right now on the draw against a deck with red removal like we do. Unfortunately, we need lands a little bit more than we need an arc bow right now. Without without lands, arc bow isn't doing anything. Better be careful. Come and destroy. Please don't kill my Domri again. Yeah, I could have played Ilharg, but a little scared Ilharg would die, and then my Domri would die, and then I would die. So I tried the Nullhide fight, where Nullhide's going to be a lot harder for them to target and everything also. But this does mean that they have Shock... Domri dies, and then I may not even get to five mana to play the other two. Though, also, I don't know. It's a tough call. Oh, looks like you're all mouth and no hands. Hmm. If I draw fifth land, I'm probably playing Ronis. Like, like if they don't have a blocker, you know, make Nullhide attack for twelve.
right, so this puts the indestructible spell back into their hand. Could have just done that before I blocked, so they could have got a damage in. Oh, this thing has trample. Never mind. Land. Okay. Heal hard. <clears throat> so playing the run is here now, though. You know, now that they have feather plus the indestructible thing lined up, doesn't make a lot of sense. I guess I should have just attacked and made them use the indestructible thing. I, I, yeah, I guess I should have, because then they get to draw a card. They did it on my end step, though, so it didn't go back to their hand. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm, I'm hoping Ilharg can stay alive. Or, like, we we keep Ilharg alive. They can, they can kill Ilharg, you know, by casting Reckless Rage twice, but I'm just hoping they don't. Yeah, the, the plan it would be cast Ronus, double the power, and then also put Ronus into play, double power again. And yeah, it'd be 24 Trampler, but... I just, I can't, I can't deal with anything here. I can't, I can't do anything. Like, they just get to do this whole, you know, like sheltering lights, reckless rages over and over and over again. Like what? I can't do anything. About it. But I guess they don't have a blocker now, so I can attack for 12. Oh, never mind. They have a blocker. Alright, five and three. One and one against Feather. I guess you know, so I I tried I tried killing their one three there with the Domri. I guess just playing the Ilharg would have been the best bet, I guess. For how that played out. Well it's been the last two days, man. It's been frustrating. Everything I play, it's like whatever decision I make doesn't work out. I played Null Hide, tried to try to fight their one three, try to play it safe. Blah. But who knows if if Ilharg would have worked out though. I don't think Rhythm of the Wild is that good of a card. This this, this Domri gives this Domri is just a lot better card. It gives Ilharg haste also. I just think it's a better card. Which I am playing that right now, even though it could be a veto here. But if I if I play the Null Hide first, then it's kind of difficult for me to uh, cast the Domri afterwards. And yep, it was a veto. Classic. Opponents having what they need.
So they don't have any lands in hand, or they didn't choose to put a land into play with Growth Spiral. The latter much less likely than the former. This league has basically just all just been Wilderness Reclamation and Feather. This is my fifth match against either Wilderness Reclamation or Feather. When we're playing these kind of gruel decks, we want to be facing Esper. No, I I didn't be nine now. That's more like it. I've been streaming. So I didn't watch the Mythic Championship because I've been streaming here. Trust me, I have a plan. Hey, kiddies, kiddies, good evening. Right on schedule. I'll protect you. I've done the hero thing before. I'm not confident that we're going to be able to finish this out. You know, five cards over there. They have infinite mana. Not too confident at all. Possible they had like another Frilled Mystic here. They didn't want to counter the Paradise Druid because they still had the five mana available. It's a possibility. I've got time. Longer stand by and watch. Hold that thought. All right, probably a bunch of nexuses now. I'm sorry, like it is.
Yep, and there is the Spellbreaker. Or sorry, there is the Frilled Mystic, sorry. We need to move quickly. So they have infinite cards and infinite mana. Don't worry, I got this. Very unlikely I'm winning this. Those who cannot perceive beyond the veil of the light, meditate and prepare. That's got to be game. They can cast Time Wipe on my turn, of course, because of Little Teferi. So it looks like it may be time to get the Cinder Vines back in our deck, as we were talking about earlier. Instead of the Brontodons. Bronzedon's not, you know, it's a good upgrade. It's a nice card to have against Mono Red, but it isn't necessary, I don't think, against Mono Red. Having Cinder Vines in these kind of matchups is just drastically, drastically better than Bronzedon. Like, it's just not, Bronzedon's not, not even close to Cinder Vines. So I don't even know if I want Bronze on like four mana to destroy a wilderness reclamation. Bleh. So what's War Boss replacing? Phoenix. So they are playing sweepers. So I'm trying I'm gonna try Carnage Tyrant over Ravager Worm here, which I normally wouldn't do against um, like a regular Simic Nexus deck, but there, like this is a, this is more of a Bant control deck that's using Wilderness Reclamation just to give them a whole lot of mana, and so against like the control deck that's trying to counter lots of things, um, you know, counters sweeper stuff like that. I want the Carnage Tyrants here, but yeah, like we're we're pretty good against counter spells. You know, like this Domery says that creatures can't be countered. Vivian Arc Bow gets underneath. As well. No accord, no peace. Oh, have at it, boys. Go 
come and destroy. So I don't want to run into Dovin's veto like I did last game. So I'm going to wait. I'm not going to let them uh, get value from a Dovin's veto here. I don't understand your question, Star. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Sorry, I do. Yes, never mind. Sorry. I'm doing very well. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, no, I'm doing well. Okay. So we get to resolve both of these. A little power can go a long way. <laughs> Whoops, no. Boys. Undo. Undo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh life. No, I thought the question was, is if I'm going somewhere next Saturday. I thought that was the question. If I was going anywhere on Saturday. And I was like, well, today's Saturday. Yeah. Ravnica deserves its demise. I guess I should have done this minus first. So I could tick up, add four mana, and then activate arc bow, or just Done. put these in my Everything's hand. In the right place. Actually, it worked out. That worked out. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think I'd probably still just play the arc bow here over the Ilharg, so they can't just use a, a wrath. That makes sense. Yeah, that works. Do you think they'll have settle? They can only punish you if they catch you. All right, so down to three. We get the Ravager Worm back. Down to one. Time wipe. Only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> so one, two, three. Yeah, we're good. You should really quit before you get your teeth kicked in. There you go. The war boss haste.
And then Ravager Worm can come in with haste as well. Okay. Game three. Do I want? Yep, we're almost there. Can we pick up this this W? Um, this Rav this Domri was from Ravnica Allegiance. This Domri was from War of the Spark. So I was gonna be able to play both of my creatures there, and neither one of them would have been able to be countered because <clears throat> three three mana Domri just says that. Any creature that you play this turn can't be countered. Nope, no more Domri's though. Nope, unfortunately we have seen the last of the Domri's. I like green red planeswalkers. We're gonna have to get another cool one. Alright, deck, let's draw some lands. Our lands, we need lands. No, as far as I know, Garuk is not dead, story wise. So Tortilla, it's kind of hard for me to give like a just a recommendation on like what deck to play, honestly. It, everybody's different, like people like different things, plus, you know, like what cards you may have access to could be different, all that kind of stuff. It's it's really hard. You kind of have to kind of go for yourself, kind of choose for yourself. But I recommend just kind of going through the, the list there, you know, taking some time going through the list. Like those, those are like a, a bunch of like the standards, most popular decks. And just kind of see what what works for you. Like, um, yeah, you, know, you can kind of check yourself. Like, of like what what cards aren't you know what deck has like a lot of cards that aren't rotating and and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, like the the regular decks that that a lot of people are playing that do well are are good decks and you know, can be a good good choice. So the like, <clears throat> if I just try to sit back and cast something, they're they're definitely countering it. Uh, if I go to combat and just attack with Spellbreaker and Thorn, and then try to second maze cast something, I still think that they like I don't think they play the Frilled Mystic to block. But the fact that I attacked out like that, then I don't think they thought that I was going to be casting anything. So then they had Frilled Mystic block. So now we have a tough choice of going Null Hide 
or Domri. No, the Hydra is very good against Esper peeps. Like the Teamer Hydra that we played earlier. It's tough against Wilderness Reclamation and Bant are like the tougher matchups. But we also I haven't been having two good variants the last couple of days. Domri is definitely better against a Wrath. You know, like right if they if they have a Wrath, just getting this down for like extra mana. We'll do that. Duels are for push nods. Let's just fight. All right, land, please. Well, uh, things are about to get real That's the next bad. best thing to a land. Land would have, you know, land would have just ended this, but. That's the next best. But yeah, we would have had hasty Ferox. Land. We need to do our land thing. Land, 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 land. <laughs> I think we'd be able to draw a third land eventually. Okay, doesn't matter. We got there with the two lands. Thank you, Lanawar Elf. All right, six and three. Meow. Yeah, okay. All right, one more match tonight. We are playing our tenth match here. We're doing ten matches of two of my favorite decks in Mythic today. We were tied at 5-5 with Teamer Hydra, which is why we played in a, we played another one. Zero land, zero land. Um, I guess we tried the land war elf and hope it doesn't die. Oh my gosh. Wilderness Reclamation again. So Null Hide is like the card I want, but the problem with casting Null Hide is, you know, it does turn on like Sinister Sabotage if they're playing that. Other option is just activate Arc Bow for four and try to hit a Null Hide. I'll cast it. Yeah, he came in at the tail end of Gruel Arc Bow. Here, iced.
So in our in our ten match set, we've played against Wilderness Reclamation four times and Feather twice. Is that right? Is it five times? Four times. Oh no, it's been a lot of times. Well, it's good news for us they didn't have another Chemistry's Insight to, like, look for more things. Well, now they suddenly do. They must have just drawn that. Cause, yeah, like, they didn't they didn't activate the Blast Zone at end step either. Arcbow does, you know, make you click OK to every single little thing. I wish this, like, you know, this auto-passing thing would actually pass and not actually have to click Resolve every time. But that's not the case. Left Shift Enter is the same thing as clicking this button. It's the same thing. How many cars? They have five over there. Very, very likely dead. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. Let me aid your research. If they have one more Nexus, that's it, I'm scooping. Because now the Ascanta flips and like with, with Tamio and three Ascanta activations I'm dead, so like I'm I'm scooping if they have another Nexus here. Because we don't get a turn. We can't attack our opponent without a turn. All right, so it looks like we we really are going to have to just take out Brontodons and put in Cinder Vines into this deck. If we're just going to be playing against Nexus a bunch now again, we need Cinder Vines. Cause like I don't even I don't even want Dom or sorry I don't even want uh... <clears throat> I don't even want Brontodon in this matchup. It's too slow. Like spending four mana to kill an Ascanta, it's too much. No, you don't want Cinder Vines against Esper. They gain enough life and everything. You don't want that.
See if they have a fog. No fog. All right, game three. Yeah, so I have this Domri in to be able to give like the Ilharg haste, but we don't need both of them. We could play a shock for whenever our opponent stabilizes at two. No, I like I like the Domri. Yeah, it's the second time Ronus has helped us swing for lethal against Nexus. No land war off, unfortunately. Looks like we have a plan. Spellbreaker, Spellbreaker, Spellbreaker. Ravager Worm's pretty nice in this matchup because not only does it have haste, but it blows up Memorial to Genius and Flipped Ascantas and stuff like that. Dang. That was certainly what I was hoping for, that my opponent wouldn't have that card. Both them not putting cards in their graveyard. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we can get to six mana a good amount of time in this kind of matchup. Like, we have... Um, you know, we have eight mana creatures and five mana plane five plans five planeswalkers that add mana as well. So it's not it's not unheard of for us. This war boss is like bugged with when there's a planeswalker on the battlefield. Definitely worst case scenario. Turn two as Kanta, then Reclamation on four, and then. Root Snare with Tamiyo, because Tamiyo just rebuys Root Snare. Hey, J-Jack. I like my Esper matchup with this deck. Seek and find. I do. We, yeah, we, we're doing good against Esper. I like that that matchup. Yep, looks to be over. Looks to be over for us. Yeah, it's over. To the <sighs> GG. All right, so we went six and four. 
Uh, for some reason, my OBS is acting up a little bit, not letting me update the score over there. Oh, it's because Hawkeye's laying on something on the keyboard. <laughs> He's laying on some button. That's why. Um, so yeah, we lost to Nexus a couple of times. We beat Nexus a couple of times. So I think what we were two two against Nexus against or against w Wilderness Reclamation at least. Two two against Reclamation there. Um, yeah, like. So I think I think next time I play this, I'm going to be taking out Brontodons and putting in Cinder Vines. Like that's that's a card that will really help us out. And then yeah, Feather. We played against Feather three times. Right? No, twice. We played against we played against Feather twice, um, and we went one one against Feather. I think yeah yeah we lost to Grixis once, and I think we beat Grixis another time. We beat Esper a couple of times I think, and. Yeah. Basically, Brontodon is, is like a lot better than Cinder Vines against Mono Red. It's a good card like to take out Frenzy and stuff against Mono Red. But it's honestly really not even that necessary in that matchup. Like it's it's good, but it's not It's not that big a deal. It's just people haven't been playing Nexus Nexus at all, so you just get got to just play a whole bunch of Brontodons and not worry about it. But now since everybody's playing Nexus again, um, especially right now, going uh, going Cinder Vines is what we need to do. Um, so yeah, I'll just be going four Cinder Vines over the, the four Brontodons. Anyway, uh, there we go. So that's it for Gruul Arcbow. Uh, just a, a good deck, fun to play. Um, the Arcbows... This this league, the Arcbows, honestly, didn't do very much for us. We didn't draw them a lot. Whenever we, it was basically whenever we had Arcbows, we had like, we didn't have a lot of lands. Like Arcbow protects you from flooding, and the games that we were flooding, of course, we didn't have Arcbow. But the games that we, that like the games that we drew Arcbow, we also just had like. A lot of spells to be casting all the time and then killing our opponent. So yeah, playing I mean it's possible you could just like play Kioras in here instead of Arcbows, on honestly. Let me clone this. I don't want to change that, but like so like another option that maybe I should try out. You know, get this fourth Paradise Druid in here. Get some Kioras to draw extra cards. Yeah, and then just have yeah, just have like Kioras that draw extra cards instead of the Arc Bows. Also helps you ramp. So that's another option that you could have in here instead of Arcbow. And then, of course, Cinder Vines. Instead of Bronzedon. Right. So there we go. Um, so what do I think of Feather decks? I don't, I don't love them too much. I don't... I don't think Feather can really beat Esper with any kind of consistency at all. And, and so that's why I don't really like them too much. All right, so that's Gruul Arcbow. Uh, yeah, so maybe I'll try this out with Kioras instead for this deck. Because the strength of the deck is certainly the, the top end and everything. Maybe this could work out. Anyway, uh, yep, so that's it here for this video. If you're watching it later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it, and please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. This longer 
um, showcase to a deck. Uh, so yeah, did something a little different for my normal stream today. Normally I play the, the five decks, or sorry, four decks. I play like five matches for each deck. I played two decks here, really focused on them and, and played a lot of matches with them. Um, does Feather beat anything with consistency? The entire deck is the definition of high rolling. That's true. That's a good, that's a good point. Um, yeah, I, I like me some Kiora as well. Anyway, yeah, so hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.